Hey y'all, today I'm in my greenhouse and I want to show you how to take a basil plant, this is basil, and make a plant from a plant. Um, the process is known as propagating and we're going to take a cutting from this plant and make another plant. So these are all my basil plants. They're pretty thinned out. I just harvested about a week or two ago and I harvested pretty heavily. Um, and this plant back here in the back is my mother plant. Um, that plant I got last spring and I have been harvesting off of it for a whole year. So that plant will actually go into retirement pretty soon. But from that plant, I've made all of these plants. And the process that I'm about to show you um, will get you a plant, two more plants. One thing about basil is cutting it is important. If I wanted to harvest this, I would snip it here and allow these two leaves to grow up into this. So right where you have two leaves is where you would want to cut if you were harvesting. The same goes as if you want clippings for a new plant to make roots. So we're going to harvest right here. And I'm going to take my clipping and drop it in this container of water. This container of water is going to go in my window seal. Now, the most important thing you want to learn about putting these in is I change the water about every other day, but you don't want your water to be so high that it touches your leaves. Or if you have a long piece of basil and you have leaves down here, you need to remove those carefully before you put those in your water. Now, if I needed to remove leaves from this that were down at the bottom, I would snip them very carefully right beside the stem, but not injuring the stem because if you injure the stem, that's going to increase your chances of the stem going bad, which is not what we want. So I'm going to leave this in my bottle for about a week or two. If I notice that my water gets low, if it's on really hot days, I would make sure to fill that up and keep your bottom part covered in water at all times. And we will come back out here in about a week and I will show you what the root system, you will have white roots that start forming. And once those roots start forming, then we'll plant. So update in about a week or two and I'll show you those roots. Okay, we are at planting day. Um, as you see, our roots, we have really awesome roots. And I have went ahead, I went ahead and did lots of clippings um, because we are getting ready for our farmer's market and I'm going to take live plants, some live herbs, and you can see lots of these are ready to be planted. Some of them, are not quite ready yet. You can see I have a little root in there, but it's not big enough, so we're gonna leave some of those alone. They do their own little thing, so I just check them, and when they're ready, they're ready. So. Was this off one plant? This was off of the plants that I took all of these from that. So this is the original plant. All of these have come off of that plant so these and come then off all that. of these come off of those and I'll continue to do that and just keep making plants from plants. So let's go with this size bucket. I just have some seed starter soil. I'm going to 
going to take my plant and just gently place the roots in there, make sure they're covered up really well. Here's your new plant and this will grow into what we what you just seen over there and I will do that with all of my plants and these are what I'm gonna take to the farmers market some I will keep for myself because I want to keep my basil going I harvest basil I dehydrate it I use it fresh um, we've made basil lemonade before so I want to keep my plants going but I also have started enough to where I have some to share so we're going to do that and we're going to put all the ones like this one that's ready. We're going to do all of that today. And I hope you enjoyed this video watching clippings from start to finish. And um, hope that you learned something as well. Happy home, y'all.